Hey buddy, Jim from Deborah's Cool Saints here, and today I'm going to be showing you Goku Black and Zamasu from set 23 because we actually got the deck where you have both of them as the leader. And it stays like that. So, start with we've got our leader card. There we go. So, on both sides, as a permanent, where your multicolor Goku Black and Zamasu's get minus one combo power or cost, but they are also minus 5k combo. So, they're all multicolored and they're all just 5k combos. Makes it easy to do your stuff. When it attacks, you look at top five for a Goku Black or Zamasu at the hand. And then when you're on four less or you have a five cost Zamasu in play, you draw two and then go down to six. So it's a draw two awaken. Like I said, pump stays the same, we can produce combo. Uh, it also is on attack, you discard one to draw two. And it's got active balance per turn by paying one energy. If there are three or more cards on cards in your combo area and it's your turn, you play a five cost of Masu from your hand. So just give you a nice easy way to play out five cost of Masu, which is great because they basically your types for other effects. And start with our Z deck. To begin with, we've got two copies of the extra card Project Zero Immortals. Um it doesn't cost six, thankfully. It's got print if your if your print is the original owner of four more battle cards, you reduce the cost of this in the Z deck by four green. So then you just pay two. It's got active main if there are no battle cards other than the master in play in all battle areas and you move the cards from the game. Your awakened side leader, because it has to be this text specifically, gains the following auto of any players without gods in their hand discard their hands at the end of your opponent's turn. So, the idea is that you build up to playing a 5 cost of Masu or something like that, use this, send it off, and then because your opponent shouldn't have a garden play, unless they're also playing gods or whatever, um, at the end of your turn they'll be forced to discard their entire hand. I haven't got around to doing that because it's a bit annoying to set up into it, but has a lot of potential. Uh, we have one copy of Super Saiyan 3 Broly. So two cost, two ZNG, 20k with unique. Uh, per, when you would be playing this from your Z deck, instead of paying its cost and Z cost, you may place a non-unique green battle card from battle in drop and pay one and one. So you send one of your cards that doesn't have the unique skill and play this out for one of each. Uh, Ultimate turn, if you have formal energy when it attack and the battle card is placed in drop, this card gains 5k in double strike, which is easy enough to do because it's active main is once per turn. If you have three or more energy and you place one non unique card from your battle area and you drop, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and carry it. So you send one of yours to the drop to kill one first, triggering your auto no matter what happens. So it's just a nice pressure unit. And then we've got four copies of the Zamasu. So three cost, one's the energy, unique, indestructible, permanent if your leader is Zamasu and there are three or more cards in your energy, you reduce the cost of this card in your Z deck by one green, so it becomes two cost. When it's played, it gains blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. And when it attacks or uses blocker, you use a mod card Zamasu or Goku Black from your drop in a combo with skills to gain for a turn. So you just play this out, block, get a free combo and you can start doing effects because you have colours in the combo. So, just a nice little thing to have. So, start with the extra cards. We've got a copy of Dormant. So, if you leave Modern Green, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards, add up to two or less, carry them. Additionally, if you choose green card and discard it, your opponent card can only attack once more for the turn. And then if you had a unison, you reduce the cost. Well, you would play it for free, but we don't have a unison. So, we got three copies of Sensu Bean. So, opponent's turn, active battle, give a card 5k, get your energy back. Because we do have blue energy in here, so it's playable. We got two Shocking Death Balls. This is our Spark in the Gate. So, for these green, you get the attack. Kill, kill a two or less card in your opponent's field. Spark in five, you can rip life to play it. So it's just a easy play 
counter we've got a copy of Uneasy and Awakened Rage so counter attack limit 1 if please mono green saying which is because we're saying God thanks to Goku Black um, and your life for less you negate oh negate if you're for less you can discard your opponent card attack unless they throw a card from their hand to the energy and you can play it by just discarding a green card from your hand so you can just discard two cards get the effect and negate which is useful the auto doesn't exist anymore not that I need to mention it and then our last extra card is two homicidal clones so this is our block in the gate where you negate the attack play a mental token with blocker um, it can combo as well because it's a 5k combo and then if you're on 5 or less you can rip life to play it so again just a nice staple counter um, for our one drops of the deck we just have four copies of Zamasu beginning of despair so when it's played you look at five cards from the top of your deck and you get a god to your hand of five or less then shuffle the deck so you have plenty of targets in the deck because there's a lot of multicolored cards that have yellow and then it's got active main paying two green and one energy if the leader is Zamasu or Goku Black and you place a Goku Black from battle area or drop underneath you can play a, Zama a green Zamasu of cost seven from your hand on top of this card so free energy you get one of your seven costs out which is really useful um, our two drop and super common from the deck is four copies of healers so she's a combo if you're god or universe two on four or less you ditch a card draw two and she gains 10k so it's just useful because it's a god it's green and it's a super combo so kind of the best one to go for the green ones because we can't use any of the other super combos well, it's no multi card, but again, not worth it. Um, our free drop of the deck is just three copies of Goku Black Team Up of God. So it's got 15k in crit. It's got auto when it's placed in drop from Z or battle area removed from the game. So act to battle limit one, pay one green. If there are three or more cards in your combo area, play this card from your combo area. And then act to battle limit one, if the leader is green with both Goku Black and Zamasu. And you have a Zamasu in combo, you can combo this card from the drop. So if you throw a Zamasu in, you can combo, bring this in. Then if you hit three colours because of it, you can just go pay green, play this out, and you have a 15k body on the board. So it's just good, and it's a very useful card to just discard of effect because you combo it from the drop, so you don't lose out. Um, at four costs start with I've got three copies of 21 full power counter this is a bit of a weird one um, basically when I played the deck I realized it needed blue green so much because you want the blue side of it but you also need green because a lot of your cards require green energy to play um, so this is in um, as it's also just a useful blue green card because it's got counter attack, play it out. You don't get to ignore the exhaust because you're not an android. Um, when it's played, choose it from one of your opponent's back cards and then bury it, place it in the owner's drop. And they can't attack with non lead cards unless you place one card each from their hand and the energy to drop each time. So it's a nice little floodgate card, but it's also just something you can spam into energy to give you a blue green because that's what this deck really needs right now. Just to make it that much more playable. We've got two copies of Cooler, Effortless Strike. So counterplay, you play it out. It's about card being played, it's four or less. Place it in the drop instead. During your opponent's turn, reduce its cost by one for each green extra card in battle and drop. Um, we have one. And then we do have all our green extra cards are just our counterplays. Oh, a counter attack, so easily done. And then when it's played, if your opponent has 8 more on hand, they discard a card. So it's just a generically good counterplay for green. That's why we run it. There's 
four copies of Goku Black Prelude to Destruction. I found that after Goku Black this is the one I was using the most because it helps set up a lot of plays. So I was like yeah I need to bump this up to four because I'm relying on it uh, quite a bit. So it's got Auto Link 1, Pay on Green, if you this master of Goku Black, when this card is used in your hand to combo, you use up to one to master of Goku Black from drop in a combo, negate its skills, then you get to play this out from your drop at the end of the battle. And then when it's played, you choose to play its battle card and place it at the bottom of the deck. So you combo this, pay green, get another card to combo, that might hit three colours, so then you do another effect, and then you just pay you've paid your one so you play that out. You do the auto, and then it's got out battle then once per turn by paying a blue and a yellow, you can play a five cost master from your hand. So it doesn't even replace it, you just play it out, which is great because it just gives you another body and it's a cheap cost to pay, so really useful. And then we have three copies of the Super Saiyan Rose, go back to same manipulation. It's got 20k in crit, when it's played you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Got X main at one, pay green, if the leader is Zamasu and you have a Zamasu card in play, you play it from your hand. So again, easily done because your leader is both. And then X of main, you pay a yellow and a green. You place his master from the drop under this card, and then you play a green master, cost him from your hand on top of this card in active mode. So it does mean you get to swing with the 20k crit. Then, as an active main, you place his master underneath and go to a 7 cost. Um, so, going to the 5 costs, which Makes up a nice chunk of the deck. We have four copies of the Old Zamasu. So we have four copies of our green yellow Zamasu. Uh, I'm going to read one of the normal ones because the SPR is very nice, but I can't read that one easily. Um, so if your Goku Black or Zamasu not exhaust, again, both. Um, Auto, when it, then one, when it attacks, you draw, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, which is to rest mode. And it's got X battle, then one, by paying a green, and colors. If the lead is green or yellow, and you have a total of two more green and or yellow cards in your combo area, you play this card from your hand, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, edge cost of six or less, and care it. So, this card is just really good for green or yellow decks, mostly green decks, because you have to pay green. So, it's just... A nice little tech piece to have, but for this deck it also works as charge fodder and it's a five cost. We got two copies of Deity's Wrath. So got instruct all those masters have instruct size to one cost, but hey. Um so you're out of main paying one. If you're free more NG, you choose a green battle card in your battle with five out or more, a total energy of 5, place them in drop, and then place card from your hand, and then when it attacks, your opponent discards a card. So this one's in here because again, we've got effects that can play it, and it's just a nice bit of discard. So, just a nice card to have in the deck. Send that quite a bit nice. And then we've got four copies of the beginning of destruction, <coughs> which is our blue yellow Zamasu. Again, it ignores exhaust because Goku Black is Zamasu. So act of main, once per turn, place one of your Goku Blacks at the bottom of your deck, draw a card, at the end of your turn, switch one of your engine to active mode, and there's an active battle playing a blue and yellow. If the leader is Zamasu with Goku Black, and there are one more Zamasu and Goku Black cards in the combo area, you play this card from your hand. So it's very easy to do, it ignores exhaust, which is great, and it works in the Wish deck. Because it's blue yellow. And next we got our seven costs. So we got our basically our main for the deck is four copies of um, Deviant Tenacity. So it's got 30k double strike instructable, each valve for a green, a yellow, and an energy on a five cost of Masu, which again is why we have so many. Boom is, again, you can ignore exhaust as long as you go to Black Cosmasu, which is really useful. 
and then when it's played, it's used all of your opponent's battle cards, seven or less, ignoring barrier, negating their skills, and clearing them. So you just get a nice board wipe. And then you just have this big pressure unit. So, that's why we want the four. And then we've got a personal tech choice of mine, which is two copies of Twisted Justice. So, so it's 25k, it's got double strike, Union Patrol for a green, a 4NG with Goku Park as a Masu, but we have ways of getting past that, so the Patrol cost doesn't matter. And then when it's played, you choose two of your opponent's battle cards or two cards in your opponent's hand, and your opponent places those cards in the drop. So I thought about this card when I saw this one drop and the Goku Black that allows you to play seven costs. Because he's let you go into a green seven cost of Masu, and I was like, I'm pretty sure there is one. And I thought this one would be good because you give your opponent the choice of um, discarding or getting rid of two things on the board, and because your opponent chooses, they can choose things with barrier, whereas you can't. And then you just have a 25 double strike. So, and our last card of the deck is our nine cost, which is another Zamasu. It's got indestructible 30k. When it's played, you choose all of your opponent's battles and unison cards and place them in the edge drop. So again, board wipe. Uh, it's got a secondary auto when your opponent plays a battle card, they discard a card from their hand. So every time you play a battle card, they're forced to discard one. And because it's indestructible, it's going to be very difficult for them to get rid of that. And it's got active main by paying 5 green. You place a 7 cost of master in the drop to play this card from your hand. So, again, a good target for that is just this one because it's on play. And you get this out, and it just forces some more pressure on the opponent. So, with all that being said, that is my Goku Black and Zamasu deck profile. So, thanks for watching, leaving thoughts you have in the comments below. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye!